Hello, my name is Cody, and I'm going to help you understand some important rights you have while under the custody and care of DJJ. A very important right you have is to be free from sexual abuse and sexual harassment. Both of these are types of sexual misconduct or wrongdoing. Make sure you completely understand what these terms mean before you leave your orientation. Let's start by discussing sexual abuse. Sexual abuse includes a range of behaviors from staff staring at you while you are undressing to forced sexual assault. This applies to youth abusing other youth and any staff, volunteer, or contractors abusing youth. Basically, it applies to anyone you will be around while you are in the custody and care of DJJ. To give consent means to agree or give permission. If there is no consent, it is abuse. Sexual abuse means if you do not want to participate, whether you say it out loud or not, if you feel forced to agree due to threats from the abuser, if you do not understand what is happening, or if you do not agree because you are asleep, unconscious, drugged, afraid, or feeling threatened. We need to be perfectly clear. DJJ does not tolerate any type of sexual contact between youth, staff, volunteer, or other employees. You may be thinking, that if two youth agree to have sex together, it is okay. It is not. It is against DJJ policy. This behavior, even when consensual, will result in consequences. To be clear, any and all sexual contact or intercourse between any staff member, volunteer, or contractor, and a youth is illegal. It is against the law even when youth thinks he or she is agreeing to the sexual activity and thinks they are in a romantic relationship. The law says that a youth cannot, under any circumstances, agree to any sexual activity with a staff member. Sexual activity between a staff member and a youth can never truly be consensual. It is always illegal. If you and a staff member have sex or engage in sexual activity, it is considered sexual abuse and should always be reported. Other behaviors that are considered sexual abuse include an adult that presses his or her body up against you or touches you and makes comments about how your body feels. That definitely would be sexual abuse and illegal. It is also sexual abuse if a staff shows their genitals, buttocks, or breasts to a youth. This deliberate flashing is against the law and should be reported. Staff that stares or looks suggestively at a youth who is undressed, such as when taking a shower or during a medical appointment. This is called voyeurism and is an act of watching for sexual purposes. However, required duties during your care and custody are not sexual abuse if they are done in a professional and appropriate way. It would not be sexual abuse if a staff member makes contact with your body during a required part of their job, for example. A staff member performing CPR would not be considered committing sexual abuse, even if there was mouth-to-mouth -mouth contact. A staff member touches a sexual part of your body while breaking up a fight or conducting a pat-down search during the course of the staff's regular job duties. If a staff member exposes some skin accidentally when his or her shirt comes loose during a takedown. If a staff member or any adult happens to see you undressing during a routine cell check or during a medical examination. Now let's talk about another right. You have the right to be free from sexual harassment. Sexual harassment is an illegal behavior, whether it is committed by a youth or an adult. Unlike sexual abuse, it does not involve touching between anyone. Sexual harassment is repeated and unwelcome sexual advances or propositions and requests for sexual favors, such as begging for a kiss, verbal sexual comments or obscene language such as describing sex acts in a crude detail, asking you to do the same, comments about your body or clothing, or rude insulting comments about someone's sexual orientation or gender identity, gestures or actions of a sexual nature which are insulting or offensive, such as imitating masturbation in front of you. So the bottom line is that sexual abuse and sexual harassment are never tolerated at any facility. No matter what you may have done in the past or what you have been sent here for, sexual abuse and sexual harassment are not a part of the penalty.